Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm sorry I didn't upload last week's video. I was too busy. I didn't get any elite clues. I don't want to make up way too many excuses, but just know that I tried my best, but I couldn't make it. And I have another cool announcement because tomorrow on Thursday, I'll be live streaming on Twitch, but it's not going to be a normal live stream. We're going to have a counter which counts down from one hour. In theory, the stream could be over in one hour, but every time I say a cuss word, it adds 10 minutes to the timer. So we might as well be in for a very long stream. <laughs> according to my track record. The stream will be held on Twitch, twitch.tv slash only underscore trails. It's also in the description. And we're starting at around 2 p.m. CEST. Unfortunately, the West Coasters of America are gonna have to be up early. But as I said, the stream might go on for really long if I keep cussing <laughs> by accident. <laughs> All right, let's head over to Barbarian Assault. Hi, I'm Only Trails and welcome to season two. Yeah! I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the end game. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Right, so we have arrived in Barbarian Assault. I have discovered that you need 500 points in any roll to do the high gambles. Uh, where are they? And with these high gambles, I have a 1 out of 15 chance of getting a Elite Clue Scroll. Now, I don't know how long this takes. This is all new to me. So, uh, let's get a team. <laughs> and I'm just gonna main the attacker roll, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we're finding our very first queen and I am not allowed to do anything. Tell me what to do, because I am an absolute... I'm an absolute... I just don't know what to do. I think we did not make it, boys. <laughs> Shit. First one's a big fail. We gotta spam some eggs on the queen now. Let's do it. Oh my god, look at that. Boom, get easy. Look at that. The queen is dead. The option to spend your points, blah, 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 blah. Let's see how many points we got. Because I upgraded my attack level, by the way, once. So that is decent, but I don't think we have 500 points yet for high gamble. Not even close. 500 points, any roll. Let's say if I don't upgrade this whole run, I might be able to do one high gamble, but I'm gonna upgrade my attacker once more. So do a whole run up to the queen. That will get me attacker level three. And after that, we'll do one more and I'll think that might get us close to our first high gamble. We'll see. We quickly completed one wave and I'm too excited. I'm going straight for the high gamble. We have a one out of 15 chance to get the elite clue. We have a 1 out of 1,000 chance of getting the pet. Kill a queen. High gamble points. Accept it. All attacker points. Gamble of prizes. Here we go. Give me that elite clue. 50 fucking watermelon seeds. Am I a joke to you? We are ready for the next high gamble, boys. We have a couple points. A lot of points, to be honest. 660. Two. You see that? That is what a pro barbarian assault gamer looks like. Okay, here we go. I've got my hand on something. It's not bad. I don't want to. Not bad. I want to say it's. Oh yes! No way! Yes! We got an elite glue and a magic seed. Yo! That is so good. Oh my god! Is this the moment? Is this the moment where it gives me double cosmic runes? Is this the day? Might as well be, because last episode we got nature runes. True log, hit me up, dude. Boom. Burn a U log. That uh, that could have been way worse. Hey, we already got the casket. This is elite clue number 14. No messing about. It is time for a unique. Come on, let's go. The same goddamn clue as always. A dragon necklace, a rune kite, and mahogany planks. Starting to get triggered here, because I... I'm so dry of an unique. <laughs> Zami Simi, Sarah Doman Simi, uh, Sandwich Lady Top, and Defense MET. Before we go back to the Lava Dragons, I have one tip from the stream. I gotta get some Chaos Gauntlets because they can actually increase my Fire Bolt max hit by three, I think. Right, Jonathan, I will. I would like to change my Cooking Gauntlets into chaos gauntlets. Let's get these gauntlets and get straight into the wilderness. Boom, chaos gauntlets. Look at this setup. This beast is ready to kill some dragons. Mm -mm -mm. I'll see you guys in the wildy lever. <laughs> now this is the wildy team I'm talking about. My boy's got my back, dude. My boy's got my back. We're in the clan world, world 360. We're all here. It's time to fuck up some PKers and get some elites. 
Put that on a shirt. No. I think that's my third. I almost have three Torax sets. That's how bad it is. Finally. I have nothing more to say to that. Finally. Look, I get it, guys. I should be more excited, but I filled in a form. Let me show you guys. Are you ready for this? This is a spreadsheet showing how dry or how lucky I am for Barrow's items. I filled in every single piece I have, which at first glance is decent, but if you look again, I have still a lot to go even though I've done 484 chests total. And if you look even deeper, you see that I have a massive amount of dupes. Three Torax bodies, three Carol's hats, three door... You get the point. When you scroll down, you see this box, and you see that I am actually 110 items dry. This does not count elites, but I mean, come on. 110 or 138, I don't even know which one I have to count, but it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm on a 1 out of 40 drop rate. It is supposed to be 1 out of 17. Uh-oh, it might already be the double cosmics. And I'd be really happy with that, so bring it on. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Give me what I need. Steal from a chest in your Ardone castle. Pretty sure I can do that. Never mind, I just looked it up and it requires 72 thieving. I know I can probably boost to it, but that's actually a pretty cool level to get. I'm gonna train some thieving and probably buy pickpocketing an RD knight. So we can just get some cash from it and it should go relatively quickly. I could also go blackjacking, but for three levels, I, I'm not gonna go blackjacking. Come on, let's be honest. So, RD knights, here I come. These are the last couple pickpockets, and as you can see in my inventory, that is the total cash that we got from 72. I was gonna say 73. Anyways, that is 72! Thieving, is there anything we can do? Because I clicked it away way too quickly. Except for stealing the chest, well, I guess that is enough. Our don't console chest, no idea where that is, we're gonna figure that out. But as you can see in the inventory, 238k. That might actually be green cash stack again. I didn't really need the money. You know, it's always nice to have some extra cash, right? The moment of truth. Wow, I've spent a lot of money. I'm far from green cash stack. Anyways, we need the lock pick. We need the elite clue. Right, now where's this chest? I don't need rude line, I can do this. Hello? Guessing this is not the chest. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, that was difficult. And again, ooh, we got a... Oh my god, why did I get teleported here? Well, I completed it, and we got an adamant ore and a raw shark. Not too bad, let's go back to our buddy Sherlock. Uh, let's see what Sherlock gives us today. Plant a watermelon seed, easy. I think my watermelons are still there. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> the watermelons from the last elite clue. I can't harvest them, because there's no farming requirement or anything. I just have to plant these three and dip. Which kind of hurts, because that is some farming speed. There's also still a herb here from probably hard clues or something. I'm actually quite excited for the farming requirement. I don't think there are any in the elite tier, but for monsters, there's a lot of farming I still have to do. Kind of scared of it, but also kind of excited. <laughs> Boys, we've got the Elite Casket. Elite Glue number 15 ever. We're closing up. We're creeping up on the 50. We're almost in one third, right? That's how math works. Okay, let's do it. Boom! I can't believe how little uniques we're getting. It's, <laughs> But you know what? Summer Pies are all right. Dragon Dagger is an alkable. <gasps> yes! Already the Elite Glue with the 10 battle staves. That was quick, three kills in, or four. Three or four kills in. <laughs> the spider never disappoints, guys. The spider never disappoints. I love it. Another coordinate clue? My god. Oh shit, how do I get there? Ship to... Is this a quest? Right, so for the Dragon Tooth Island, we have to go for our elite clue. I have to complete the Ghost Ahoy quest, and as you guys know, you need ecto tokens to get there to the island and to complete the quest so i'm doing some bone grinding right now we're gonna get a little bit of prayer xp but i can't otherwise it's, it's, i have to i have to so grinding our beautiful dragon bones right now get as much prayer xp get as much as we can squeeze it all out of there and let's complete this quest we have arrived in the middle of the quest at dragon tooth island which means we are here to complete the elite clue this is step number four if i'm not wrong yes and please give me the bandosian guard so we can kill him then complete the ghost ahoy quest and move on with our elite clue so lucky always lucky i've gotten four coordinate clues in a row and all of them were bandosian guardians so that's 
pretty nice. Let's kill this guy, dig up the next step, and complete the quest. The final stretch, 23 minutes later, we have completed the Ghost Ahoy quest. A little bit of prayer XP, not even close to 62, but we got the Ecto file, which is a very nice teleport to have. Don't think I'm gonna use it a lot, but let's continue this elite clue. It's another coordinate clue. Actually, uh, one we already got this streak. So let's get that casket. Let's get that third age, you know, let's go. Boys, we have in our hands elite clue number 16. Probably one of the easiest clues. One more accomplishment, the Ghost Ahoy quest, which is not too bad. But let's finally get a unique. It's about time. We've gotten three out of 16. Come on, give me something. <laughs> Wanna happen, no. but uh... Oh my god, what the fuck is that? We're going back on drop rate, boys. We're going back on drop rate now. Oh, that is almost back to back. That's in three chests. In three chests, we got two elite clues. We're going back to the drop rate. Let's get it. Right, so we're in this situation now. We have to be in Myra Ditch or My Myra Ditch, My Myra Ditch. And for that, we need to complete the Darkness of Hallowvale quest, the second quest of the episode. Oh, we're already here. Um, I'm not going to complete the whole quest because in general, everyone is saying that it sucks ass. So we'll do it later when we get to step again and I'm not streaming. But now, I just want to rush out these elite clues. This is a goddamn scary place. Here we go, that is already done. That only took like two minutes. Let's get our buddy the Bandosian guard again and finish up this elite clue. Hopefully we are not gonna get the Prifinus step. That'd be amazing. Guaranteed last step, what is it? Easy one, we just did that one and we got the circle ages ago. We're right here in front of the final elite step. I'm quickly going to check how many elites, uh, uniques we got from elite. There's only three out of 16. That is absolutely disgusting. So that means there's absolutely no logical explanation that we are not getting a unique from this casket, right? Three, two, one. I think I'm gonna go back to hard clues. I'm done with these, like legit. Settled is cringing right now. <laughs>